Hello everyone. Well, it's another gap filled in the old Dyson collection. A DC-11. A canister vacuum. I don't think I've ever seen a DC-11 in real life. It's quite a quirky machine. Now this isn't refurbished. I didn't spend the extra to get a refurbished model. I just bought a used model that will probably need refurbishing myself. A new parts bought for it. I think it's missing all the small cleaning tools. But at the time of making this video today, I'm expecting an Amazon delivery, which includes a few Dyson things, including a head for my Dyson DC-18. And um, two of the tools I managed to get for this, I think it's the crevice and the, the um, all-purpose nozzle, the stair tool. Still need a dusting tool. Right, let's have a look at this twin cylindered Dyson. Now this has got a turbo nozzle. It's not, <laughs> it's not bad um, condition as far as cleanliness goes. It's not filthy. It's obviously well used. Not sure if that, would that have been purple? That seems a bit odd. I don't know why Dyson used this awful colour. I've seen this on a few models. Yeah, it's quite battered. I think I could probably get another one of those, but they'd be quite expensive. Not sure, not sure if it should have a hole there. I can access the brush. Well, it's certainly clean, isn't it? Um, I think it's probably been cleaned up a bit. I don't think this would, this would have stayed as clean because it's quite marked. It's quite scratched up. So that is a turbine, an earlier turbine head. Next we've got this rather bizarre and slightly I don't know if it's the lighting, Just, it seems to be, you can't really tell, I expect from the video, it seems to be getting a little bit of a tinge, there's a lot of grey Dysons, they either went a little bit um, green or, or yellowy. So this is the handle, DC-11 all floors it says on it. Now oh, you've got the uh, a little trigger release for the suction. That does move, but it's uh, quite stiff. Uh, this is the uh, what Dyson called the Dyson Telescope. And you'll be able to pull out the... Uh, a, oh, there we are. Little switch here. Well, it's nice and smooth anyway. There we are. So there is the wand. So this, um, I believe, stows away similar to the stowaway models. In fact, it, I think it all wraps around the body of the machine. So there we go, that's okay. Right, now I'm not sure what tools are still available. I'll have to, I'm not sure if Dyson still have tools or spares for this. I have got from, coming from eBay, Somebody was selling the instruction manual for this, so I've got that coming. I'm sure I can still get parts for this, but probably not direct from Dyson. Um, yeah, it's a lot smaller than I thought. It's a lot more compact than all the pictures I've seen make it look. So how do we, here we go. Yes. So it's got, oh, it has been, it has been cleaned out. This is this is why do people do this? This has been cleaned out, I think, because there's moisture. There is moisture inside here. So I think they've made an attempt. You see, you cannot, on the whole, clean out a Dyson Cyclone with completely taking it to bits. Because that's the only way, one, you'll get it properly clean, and two, you'll make sure it's properly properly dry before reassembly. I don't know if they've just put water through this, but there's definitely moisture inside here. 
So I believe, yes, the dirt does collect in both bins. Now, unlike Dyson's Upright, the DC-03 that had looked like it had twin bins, just one of the um, cylinders contained the filter and the other caught the dirt. With this one, the dirt seems to go into both of these because it's got a max fill line on both. So if that was on its own, it'd be quite a small capacity, but it's obviously doubled because there are two. So to empty this one, oh, it does have a flap. Now, is that the button? Or is that the button? What's that button do? Oh, it's that button. Right, oh yes. So, this button here is what we use to open the flap. And that seems to work fine. Yeah, it's been, poof. That has, they've made an attempt to clean that out, but obviously they've not dis dismantled it. This will go into my airing cupboard, I think, for a couple of weeks to make sure it is thoroughly dry, but I can see it's got moisture in it. Now, I should hopefully be able to take this off. Yes. So I will be looking at getting a new bin, hopefully if I can get a new one still. I'll just give that a wipe out because that's where the moisture is. But obviously, if that's got the moisture in it, it means that, uh, yeah. It wasn't sold as refurbished, but what's happened is I think they've just got, just run a, a shower hose or run this under the tap to try and clean it a bit. Um, this part actually itself is salvageable. Now I will be able to take this, there's no marks on it, so I think, unless I can get one cheap that's complete, I'll, that bit's okay. Just needs a, a thorough proper clean. I'll see if there's any videos on how to dismantle this on YouTube or there might be a, a thread on some website. But I will need um, those special Dyson screws to take the top off. Should be able to dismantle this and clean it properly. So that bit's okay. But if I can source a new twin chambered bin, I will do. So here's the cleaner with the bin removed. And I must say it's, it's an odd looking Dyson and fairly short lived, I would have thought for some reason. There is a filter here, and it's the original one. There's the old uh, foam part. And there's another filter in here. Oh, it's a bit of muck. I've seen these filters on um, eBay, but I'll probably give this, it looks in good condition. So I'll try and clean this first. I'm gonna use some detergent. You're not supposed to, according to the instructions. You're supposed to just use clean water, but I'll use some biological detergent. If I can get this white again, there's no point in, in buying another one of those. So that goes in there by the looks of it. Quite a lot of dust after the filter in here. And that's where the fan is for the motor. And two suction. Well, that's two two channels here where the dirt the, the dirt obviously comes in through the hose and then will get split up the sides somehow up the chamber. So they, this is a single by the looks. There's a single air path that would go there, but it's who knows? It's anyone's guess which uh, side the dirt comes through. Now. There we go, that's it, that's in properly. Um, you've got pedals here, that's for your cord rewind. That's a bit loose, I'm not sure if it should be. That's a bit sluggish, oh. And look at that! <laughs> well. I'm used to seeing bent prongs on an American. Yeah, get in focus. Look at that. Goodness sake. Some people, you know. That certainly didn't, that cannot happen in transit. 
especially because it was inside the cleaner. How does that happen? Look. <sighs> I mean, yes, I'd have to obviously put another plug on this and hopefully it's some, I'd like to keep things, you know, as I'm a collector, I like to keep things original. So at some point, if it's easy enough to do, I'll have to get a proper Dyson cable if I can for this. How on earth that? I mean, how on earth does that happen? I mean, these, anyone who's stepped on a UK plug with just socks on or even worse, bare feet, you know how painful these are. How on earth? How did that happen? How on earth did that happen? Right. It's ridiculous that. I can't see how that's happened at all. I might um, put a little bit of a claim in. Oh, and we can also see. Now, this bit here, this tool caddy part, that's broken, but I have actually seen this particular part, quite a few of this particular part, you can still buy. So, that's another part I'm going to have to buy for this. Obviously, this wasn't refurbished. Hopefully, the tools I'm getting today will fit here. They said they were for the DC-11 and they said they were genuine Dyson. So this is a crevice tool and it looks like it's one of those with an angle and it's slightly shorter. So hopefully that will be correct. And let's see underneath. What's that falling off? Oh, it's a filter. Tiny, tiny little wheel there for some reason. Oh, that there is the suction relief valve. I just I noticed that when I took the filter out. Two wheels. Quite a smooth running caster. Let's have a look. Can we date this, folks? Let's have a look at the rating plate for this DC-11. So it's a Dyson DC-11 140 UK A 497.11. Uh, it's made in Malaysia. 1400 watt. So yes, any Dyson experts? I could probably check myself, of course. But if you want to comment below, when was this in the shops? How long did it last? I do have a leaflet with this in it. I've just been having a look for the exhaust filter and there doesn't seem to be one. So uh, I think this is the only filtration it has. Although I'm saying that, I'm sure I've seen another filter on eBay. Let's just take the hose off if I can. <sighs> Oh no, that's going to be tricky. It will come off. Yeah, I'm sure I've seen a, a more square sh shaped filter. But where, where is it if there is one? Hmm, might have to wait for the old instructions or I'll have a look on, uh, online. I'm going to have to leave you in a moment anyway to fit a plug onto this, aren't I? There's no way I can bend those prongs. It won't be safe. If I try and bend those prongs back, they'll probably snap off. I'll take a photo of it first. Um. Hmm. Unless there were two types of filters, perhaps this is the standard. And I think because there was two versions of this, wasn't there? There was one, well, I've seen a turquoisey color one, which might have been the one with the higher filtration. So I think the other filter I might have seen might have been the little HEPA type version of this, possibly. This is just the bog standard version, isn't it? So, ah, I'm just wondering, I don't know, I'm just thinking, is the filter, is the filter behind the wheel? Anyway, we'll soon find out. So, before I go and pop a plug on, it's, yeah, it's certainly completely different it's a lot smaller than I expected I've never seen one properly without well I've never seen one in real life I've never seen one without the um, bin on it's a lot rounder than I thought it would be it's quite unusual quite quite like it right so the hose seems in good condition as long as it fits into here which it does and it swivels and of course we can collapse it up again but I'm sure it is supposed to wrap around this machine 
but which does it wrap round like this? I think it possibly does. Yes. And then where does this bit go? Perhaps there's something broken that might fit onto. Uh, yeah, there's a bit on the cyclone. So it does. It does. You can see where the hose wraps round. So, right, I'm going to need a new doobry here because that's cracked. I'm going to need a new mains lead and a new bin. And I wonder, and that other, the dusting tool I don't have. Yeah, right then, folks. I'll pause and I'll be back in the shake of a lamb's tail because I need to fit. I can pull that out. Oh. There we are. I need to fit, of course, a new plug. I'll just have to put a, a bog standard black or white plug on there. Well, a quick online search has revealed where the post motor filter is. I thought it was odd not having one, not, not having one you could access anyway. So these two are obviously the pre-motor. I'll leave those out actually. And uh, the post motor filter is hidden behind this screw. So, the coin, I can undo it. Which way does it go, I wonder? Oh, heck. Oh, there we are. Is that it? No. Don't want to force it. Oh, there we are. Is that it? That was difficult. Eek. There. Right. Oh. I see. Comes away with the hose look. Yeah, so that can be given a bit of a clean out now I've um, removed it. So here it is, this little thing in this basket. How does that come out? Uh, seems to be well and truly stuck in there. I think I might need a screwdriver to lever that out. Yes, I do. Oh, hang on, I've got some scissors here. Well, shouldn't really. No, don't use the wrong tools, folks. Ridiculous that you have to use any tools. Ugh. Come on. There, ooh. Right, yuck. So, there we go. That is pretty dirty, isn't it? Mm, I'll give that a wash. It's black with carbon. Probably isn't washable. I don't think, I couldn't find it on the online instruction book actually. Is it that way? Oh, that looks, that's the way it was. That was it. Yes, it went in that way. I'll give that a wash. If it um, deteriorates after washing, it won't matter because I will replace that. So I think the other filters will be okay after a wash, but that one yeah, I think I'll be replacing that. So that's where it is, if you want to know. It's underneath this part here. You just have to undo the little screw with a coin. Okie dokie, well, I've put another plug on. It's not ideal, it doesn't match, but we need to test if this works. I will be putting in a little bit of a complaint though, because if I didn't know how to put a plug on or didn't have a spare plug, there would have been, well, Absolutely no way I would have got that working. Right, so a <laughs> little bit dubious about this one. I'm going to put it on without the cyclone in place for now. Right, here goes. It might not switch on. No, it doesn't. It should do now unless the fuse is blown in the plug. For a Dyson, <laughs> that sounds pretty quiet. Um, yeah, that does sound uh, quiet. I think it sounds okay as far as I know. Now, where does the suction come from in this? Will it be? No, I'm not sure. Will I be able to feel any suction? I don't know if I will be actually. I think the suction obviously, yes, 
it's not going to come from there that's where the dirt enters the suction will be underneath there right i'm going to pop the uh, cyclone on and just run it just to see if we've got some suction well if there is any residual moisture in here i'm not going to run it for long any moisture should be trapped by this sponge before it has a chance to get into the motor so how does this go on like that is it yes that's clicked on okie dokie let's try it again <laughs> I could, fit, I could hear the uh, suction relief valve kicking in but that for a Dyson I mean it might sound very noisy to you on camera on picking up on the microphone but sitting next to it it's not too bad for noise so the motor sounds to me do you have a DC 11 does this motor sound okay to you but to me it sounds it sounds like it's okay the suction's fine um, it's just that little niggle I'll see if I can get some money off, even if it's a tenner, you know. People should not be sending stuff out, should they? That's faulty. Said it worked. I can't see how those pins would bend during uh, transit. Let's see if this works. Not got high hopes for the speed of this. Where's the on off switch there? No, folks, <laughs> you weren't watching that in slow motion. That was the speed. Um, now, is it because I haven't got this on properly? That that doesn't seem right. That bit's not working. Um, I do have another one. I'm sure it's similar to this that I was kindly bought as part of my uh, Christmas presents from viewers I think it's this style so I will pop up actually I'm going to pop up and see it might not fit I don't know if it's got the correct adapters but this I can't I don't know if I can even feel the turbine in here I can't there's no axis I can't see if it's rotating obviously there's uh, something wrong with this you don't turn it no I'm sure you this this is supposed to pull out or push in to turn it on and off and that just doesn't seem to be working so the fact there's a hole in it I don't think there would have been a hole in it I'm pretty sure that that's not correct it looks like that's been drilled so this doesn't work and that doesn't feel very tight either when I'm closing it. No, that's a big fail for that. Shall I put down loads of hair and see how that picks it up? <laughs> and also, is this missing a straight suction head as well? Well, I'll soon find out. I'll check my um, old brochure I'll check the uh, instruction leaflet, so that's something else I probably will have to get. But at least one saving race. The motor sounds fine. I think the rest of the cleaner, apart from a new bin and a new tool caddy at the back, I think I won't have to spend that much on this DC-11. I'm just going to nip upstairs, see if I can find my turbine brush. Well, I found it. One of the two turbo heads that uh, Darren Page bought me very kindly that I opened on my Christmas Day 2017 video. So um, if you watched that, you'd have seen me opening this. And I think, yes, apart from, of course, it being a different color, mm, I think it needs an adapter. It is more or less the same design, is it? Let's have a look. Yes, it is. It's more or less the same design. Yeah, apart from the colour and the fitting. So I'm not sure if these came with any adapters. I'm sure I've got some adapters. No, it didn't because I think this was sold as a specific for specific models. 
doesn't say where oh it says for DC05 DC23 and something else so hmm, well it fits a DC05 so yeah it's not going to fit this is it I don't think no that's a shame but I said I've got loads of adapters somewhere that used to used to supply the spare tools with you know a whole array of different adapters so you could use um, your various tools with older machines so I think I've probably got something hopefully if I haven't anyway it'd be interesting to um, yeah it's got slightly changed there obviously isn't supposed to be a hole is there look but all in all it is the same more or less I don't know if this is going to work if I just hold this up to here it's going to lose some suction <laughs> See if I can put the hose end. It's not moving at all. I don't know if it's on or off. Hang on. Pull it. Ah, push it in for off. Pull it out for on. Right. Ah, that might give us some action. certainly better than the supplied head but it is losing a lot of suction trying to to do it with the wrong thing but anyway I know I could I'll be able to buy a replacement but yeah there's something definitely amiss with this isn't there uh, just looking at that yeah it's quite no anyway well that's something else I can complain about that's not working it wasn't a huge amount of money I can't remember how much but I didn't pay a, a lot for it but as I said in previous videos when I've opened refurbished machines that still need quite a bit of money spending on them I thought well I'm not going to buy refurbished anymore I'll just buy used and refurbish myself but yeah all in all I'm quite pleased with it uh, apart from the few niggles could have could have been far worse but it's just a quirky, a quirky Dyson and a short-lived one. Let's just pull that out. Yeah. Oops. Hang on. turbine head is going round I can see it rotating but it's it's going at such a slow speed I can still see the individual bristles on the brush roll which you shouldn't be able to well all in all it's okay I'm quite happy to have one the DC 11 let's unplug it before it blows up you never know I think it's going to be a bit sluggish on the old cord reel Come on, oh, sluggish isn't the word, is it? <laughs> come on, come on. We haven't got all day. <sighs> La -di -da. Slowly but surely wins the race. <laughs> it's not, is it, is it? Come on, yes! Ugh. Right. Oops. Just worried about that piece as well. Um, that does seem a bit loose. Sure, that shouldn't be like that, should it? Maybe, maybe it was. I don't know. It doesn't look. I'm saying it doesn't look broken. Um, no, it doesn't look. It doesn't look broken at all. Uh, I don't know. 
Does that should that be like that, folks? Do you know? Right. Let's see if I can um, work out how to wrap this hose around. Which way do I do it? You see. It's it's veering towards this way. The hose. It seems to want to go that way. So I will endeavour to clip it in. I think, yeah, the hose is okay, just a good clean. So I think this goes up the middle, doesn't it? But where? Does it go up the middle, folks? I think it, yes, I think it does. There must be a way of clip, clipping it on unless something's broken. Oh, aha, 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 something's happened. See, this is why an instruction book. Oh, there we are. That is, that is it. I have managed to work it out without the instruction. It looks quite good on my viewfinder. Looks almost new. It will clean up well because of the size of it, and it doesn't really move along very easily when you're pulling it along. It wouldn't have got very bashed up in use. So all in all, apart from the fact I had to cut off the genuine Dyson plug. That goes on there, doesn't it? Yeah. Quite an interesting model. The Dyson DC11 telescope, or should I say to give it its proper title, the Dyson DC11 all floors telescope vacuum cleaner. Thanks for watching, more Dysons to come and maybe another video of this when it's uh, had a few new parts and um, see if I can get a genuine turbine with the with the proper colouring, with the orange colouring. I also need to check of course if I need to buy a hard floor nozzle. I'd like to make this as complete as I can to uh, add to the collection. Thanks again. If you have any comments or questions about this Dyson, please ask below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.